How about you say five, four, three, two, one in the background so it's kind of like Freddie I Carly. Yes, yeah, okay. In five, four, three, two. Welcome guys. We're the Pretty Committee. I'm Olivia. I'm Mariah. And I'm Kaylin. Okay, so today's episode is Am I the Problem? So we're taking this idea from a 2013 subreddit of AITA where people post these scenarios and we have to decide are they the problem or not. The first one is called, am I the problem for calling buying flowers homework? What do you guys think? Like homework? Like, yeah. it, it's such a, like, he, it's such a... He told a... his wife that he thinks buying flowers are homework. So he thinks it's such an inconvenience to buy his wife flowers? flowers? Oh. So, oh. from the overview, do you think yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Is like, the problem? I feel like that shouldn't be, feel like homework. It should feel like you're actually trying to do something yeah. good for the person that you love. Yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't know. <laughs> what? Okay. Are you guys ready to hear the story? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I was shopping at Walmart looking for a plastic bag for a single onion. I ran across the flower display and saw a set of roses that I thought were beautiful together and I wanted my wife to have them. Later that night, I told, that, I told her that I brought her homework because now she has to do something with them to make them more presentable, like by adding like water, put it to a vase and like make it all pretty. And they've been married for 19 years and he was kind of making a joke. Do you guys? Don't think he's the problem? Yeah, I think uh, it's like the way he's like, I don't know, maybe I think he didn't mean it the way that she like yeah. definitely took it. Like, Or maybe is there nobody? Like, is it just a misunderstanding? I feel like it's probably like a misunderstanding. It's a misunderstanding because obviously taking care of flowers, like, you, of course you're going to have to do that. Like, it's a daily yeah. thing. Like, yeah. homework, I think he was making like a joke. Like, I got you homework. You know? yeah. yeah, but like also... He Why did, did get, he say that? He did get her flowers. Yeah, yeah so, exactly. Okay, yeah, uh, off like the base, I thought it was like, like yeah, she, he, she was like, I want flowers. And he was he like. He should have named it a little differently. Yeah. Yeah. Because okay. it made it sound like it was such an inconvenience to get flowers for his wife. Yeah. I know. But okay. yeah, I don't think anyone's really the problem in that. I mean, it's just a misunderstanding. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't think I would have took it the way his wife did. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe she's just dramatic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one. Am I the problem for suing my girlfriend after she had my 1967 Impala project taken to the scrapyard? Oh. oh. <laughs> like, if you think about it, like, a lot of people, like, especially men, like, cars are, like, their treasure. Like, and they're married or is it girlfriend? Girlfriend. Oh. Yeah. Um, he oh. sued her? Suitor. I mean, yeah, I think, no, that's, he's not the problem because he owns the car. It's his yeah. car. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, like, that's, like, somebody literally taking away. I mean, taking away. someone for, yeah. like, uh, throwing away my Taylor Swift stuff. Apparently the guy has a really <laughs> bad taste in girls. Dead to me. Really okay. bad taste You guys ready girls. for the story? Yeah. yeah. A man's girlfriend moves in with him but has a problem with his pet project, a 1967 Chevy Impala that he's trying to restore. While he's away on a business trip, the girlfriend has the car and all of its parts hauled off to a junkyard. When the man comes back, he discovers that everything is gone and loses it. He kicks his girlfriend out and decides to sue her. The girlfriend and her family are so mad, so the man decides to come to Reddit. And he's asking us, is he the problem for suing her? No. No. She is definitely the problem. She's yeah, she should have done that. Yeah. Like, what in the world? Why would she like... That, who that's just, just <gasps> awful. Yeah. Oh my gosh! And yeah. just like that's her like not the problem. Yeah, yeah, that's not even like her property. It's not like they're married, so it's like shared. Yeah, yeah. it's not it's like not. She, yeah, the, yeah. He, she, oh my she gosh. took she scrapped it's his awful. car. That's like, that's not okay. That, those were expensive. Like those are yes. hard to find. 1967. My family has a 1960s Impala. That's a convertible. And oh my gosh, that thing's worth like a whole lot, a lot of money. I can't imagine someone just throwing it away. Yeah, and like the guts to do that when like <laughs> she moved in with him and they de she could the definitely like mad. be kicked out i know like i feel like i wouldn't be siding with my daughter in that point yeah, like, yeah. I, I feel I'd be like, like just you, because you're the family like you should know when somebody's in the wrong yeah like yeah. she shouldn't have done that yeah but yeah mm -hmm. i think she's definitely the problem yeah most definitely well okay. now it's time for states of slay with your host madeline daganhart Hey, this is Madeline and welcome to your first installment of Shades of Slay where I'm going to give you a little bit of a tip 
to slay in your life. So today's shade of slay is to make sure you're going out and getting at least 30 minutes of exercise every day. I know it's tempting to just stay home and watch TikTok, watch Netflix, but the exercise every day is very important. So even if it's just going for a quick walk outside with your dog or doing like a fitness marshal, watching, playing some just dance, that's some exercise. It doesn't have to be like cardio or anything hard. Just go outside, get some fresh air. So that's your shade of slay for the day. All right, we're back from Shades of Slay with Madeline. I'm sure that was great advice from her. <laughs> She's in the background telling us it was. Yeah. <laughs> All right, last one. Okay. Am I the problem for switching to regular milk to prove my lactose intolerant roommate keeps stealing from me? What? <laughs> No, I 100% on the context, context, please. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? No. Do you guys just want to hear this? Yes, story? Yes, yes. Okay. Having a difficult roommate can be a real pain. This story involves a guy who suspected his roommate of stealing food from him, even though this roommate is particular about what everyone else is eating. Um, it turns out his concerns were valid when he put regular milk in an almond milk container to see if his lactose intolerant roommate would drink it. The roommate fell for the trap and did a number, and it did a number on his digestive system. <laughs> this ended <laughs> proving the guy right. Um, the users commented that it was all right since the roommate was stealing from him. Do you guys agree? Honestly, like, honestly, that's the type of petty that I can get with. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're stealing his food. You deserve it. Yeah. I mean, I'm lactose intolerant too. So, yeah. like, I, I mean, think it's okay for him to do. Yeah. Like, yeah. As, like, as a lact lactose intolerant person, like, I don't think it, like, would seriously harm him. Yeah. yeah I mean, it's not it's like you like, him. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not in more extreme cases, maybe just set up a camera. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> without their knowledge. But like, I feel like funny. That's funny. That yeah. was really, that's funny. I, I feel like he deserved it. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. yeah I mean, he did still, he did still. Especially so whenever yeah. that roommate finds it such a problem other people stealing his food. Yeah, moral of the story, don't, don't be a hypocrite. Um, exactly. Yeah. Like, if you're going to steal food, you better share it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, no, he's not the problem. <laughs> he's not the problem. The roommate is. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that was our episode of Am I the Problem with the with the pretty committee. <laughs> <laughs> okay, join us in a couple weeks with our next episode where we'll be doing girl math. <laughs>